an oddity in the Arab world. This is the region's only Jewish museum, and it's located in the Moroccan city of Casablanca. For this group of students from the south of the country, it's an eye-opening experience. To be honest, I didn't know there were Arab Jews, and particularly Jews from Morocco. But coming here, I discovered that there were Moroccan Jews in Fez, in Meknes, in all the big cities. Jews have been in Morocco for more than 2,000 years, but while they numbered a quarter of a million as recently as the 1940s, now only around 5,000 remain. The majority left the country after the foundation of Israel and the ensuing wars in the Middle East. It's a story not told in the official textbooks. In the 1960s, there was an order that the history books should no longer mention Jews, and that's how it remained until today. For an average Muslim nowadays, a Jew is just someone who kills Arabs in Palestine. Hence the desire to bring together evidence of local Jewish history at the museum. Some of the exhibits also transcend religious and cultural boundaries. This hand, for example, is a symbol used by both Jews and Muslims. Shaw is curator at the museum and a Muslim. She feels it's her duty to keep this part of her country's history alive. The objective of the museum is to preserve the Jewish memory of Morocco because all the Jews have left. Our responsibility today as Muslims and Jews in Morocco is to preserve Moroccan heritage in its entirety. At the same time, it's to show people that there are other Moroccans who are not the same faith as them, who are not Muslims. It's estimated that almost a million Jews around the world are of Moroccan origin. This is a tale typical of the richness and complexity of the region's history, a history which may now be a little clearer to not only college students, but visitors from around the world.